don't rain on my parade. This is my show, not your pe- Pepe. It's not your show. Please get to the next thing. God damn it, Pepe. All right. I am a fan of Asmund Gold. I don't know. Here, let me switch over to this side. We're going to watch an Asmund Gold reaction, and I am going to react to an Asmund Gold reaction video. And he is going to react to somebody who's talking about how Diablo Immortal, you know, here's the thing. They, they've gone. <sighs> they've gone way too far. It's gotten way too bad. I mean, the greed is really off the charts. I don't know how many of you follow WoW or or Diablo or, or Blizzard games in general now that they got bought out by Microsoft as well. I don't know how many of you are following this area because most of you here are, are in the Star Citizen realm. I understand that. But I've always been into MMOs. I've always been into this type of gaming. And it is absolutely shameful what is going on here. Let's talk Diablo Immoral. And, and yeah, you got to love Asmund. you got to love his eyebrows. The eyebrow movement is just off the chart. I think a lot of times they're hypnotizing. I think a lot of times I should employ the eyebrows and talk like Asmund Gold and... This is really intuitively how the man speaks. And I have to say that he's very knowledgeable about the gaming uh, realm. And that if I had a receding hairline and, and hair like that, I could tell you that I would um, probably have more subscribers. So, yeah. The number that Bellior is quoted <laughs> was wrong. It's not only going to be $100,000 to max out a, a character. It's going to be $500,000. Jesus. Can you believe that? No. So this is the Diablo Immortal new whale mechanics. <laughs> Over half a million what? dollars to get your character geared. Wow. Per season. I don't believe it. Show it to me. That is one big pile of shit. That's just about right. <laughs> This is fun. This is fun. I like this. I think I'm going to start reacting to more Asmund Asmund Gold. Asmund Gold videos. Asmund Gold videos. Apologies. I'm having throat issues. I love this. I love this. I love this format. I'm going to do this from now. And Pepe, do you like this? Okay, great. I'm going to do this more often. We are going to watch more Asmund Gold videos. And I'm going to sit here and I'm also going to do eyebrow movements and we are going to watch this channel explode. This channel will explode with the proper eyebrow movements. I just have to get it. I have to fine tune the eyebrows. I have to fine tune them. Hold on a second. Hold on. Come on. Come on, eyebrows. Work with me here. There we go. There we go. Sure is. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of the champion of predatory microtransactions. We got three. I the feel king like of the hill where it comes. I feel like I'm having a podcast, but not really having a podcast. Uh, let's just pretend we are, and we're all live here together, the three of us. Comes to sticking it to the community, and that See is you, Quincy. Diablo Thanks for joining Immortal. us, buddy. A new mechanic has been found. <laughs> I have to move them. That shows that it doesn't cost 110,000 to max a character. That's nothing. That's peanut. That's what you get started with. That's, it costs you That's over good. a half a million. I like grand, that, Don. That's nothing. Half a million dollars. Wow. Wow. I, wow. Aaron, no, that's no, not possible. no, no. I, I don't believe it is possible. I don't think the greed is that bad yet. I want proof. I want this guy to give me proof. I don't believe you. I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh, wait until you see this. No, <laughs> I, just, I don't see just start, it. I want to okay? see it. The laundry right, here we list. go. Show us now. Show us now. One of the worst, if not the worst, cash shops, predatory microtransactions I've ever seen. An uninspiring, unenthralling, uninga- unengaging game. Okay. Potentially banned in China. Engagement now, wait for the second. game. To be fair, it got banned in China because somebody that worked at Netties <laughs> tweeted something <laughs> negative about <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Uh, uh, oh. Okay, so I, it, this is it was did not get banned in China because of how manipulative it was. That's good. That had nothing to do with it. That's fine. 
But don't you fucking up, dare rider? call that guy a bear. Way down. Right now on Twitch, it has 2,400 viewers. This peaked in the 50, 60 thousands at one point. And week over <laughs> All right, week what, sales. What's this again? This peaked down. Right now on Twitch, it has 2,400 viewers. Why wow. does Diablo Immortal not have that many viewers? The gameplay is horrific. Because it's, it's boring. a boring shit yeah. game. Yes, 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 yes. Like, what, what do you Asmin. mean? Like, oh, He's wow, right. I can't believe nobody wants to sit around grind. and watch somebody Fucking run grind. riffs for six hours. Right, right. I did that for Boring. two streams, and I already wanted to fucking Claw quit. my eyeballs out. <laughs> Claw it my was eyeballs. garbage. It was, it's complete garbo. Like, I, again, I treated the... I, I extracted the He's content right. out of the game. Yep, and that and was it. And then... Boring. It's pump and dump, man. You said total pump and That's dump. That's it. Total pump and dump. This peaked in the 50, 60 thousands at one point, and week over week sales <laughs> are down. So they deserve all this negative publicity. They built it. Before I go through this, before I prove to you, I, I do feel it. like most of the negative reactions to Diablo Immortal have been fair. There, I, I think that there are very few, like th there are very few misrepresentations uh, of Diablo Immortal. Before I give you my opinion <laughs> that it cost a half a million dollars to max out, I'm hoping today uh -huh. is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today no, is the day don't do that. make the decision to push that little red button. Listen, I would listen, 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 listen. Self-promotion in, in the beginning of a video is not the greatest. That's just constructive criticism. I would really appreciate it. It really does help push the channel Wait till the in end, 2022. Because... We have a goal of 20,000 subs. The channel has been on fire. You're going you're gonna to lose people when I'm you do today, that. If you hate Diablo and I you, you, you hate Blizzard, push that red button. <laughs> Join on the right hate now, wagon. Oh, my God. Join on yeah, the hate yeah, wagon. There you go. I, I think that, like... If he ever sees this, I think it's better to do one of these, like, do a call to action for subscribing at the end of the video. Even though there's less people that are watching <laughs> by the time the video's over, the people that have watched at that point have been, like, they have now consumed content. This man, this is why, this is why I love Asmund content. You know, like, a lot of the times, like, he, he mirrors my own, uh, you know, thought and vibe. So vibe. you can actually use the exact same uh, mental technique that Diablo Immortal uses in order to get people to buy <laughs> things, almost. which is reciprocity. It is kind of strange, isn't uh, it, dude? Reciprocity, it's like watching two of us. I, I it's it's like, it. um, which is basically you get. It's like he's the DG with hair. It's like he's the D. Well, I mean, let's be fair. There's not that much hair left. No, no. Yeah. You know, we got it. We got to do that to Asmin. But, um. You know, it is like we're like alternate reality DG is well, and 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 really, I should say Asmin because he's got millions of subscribers, and I've only got like fourteen thousand subscribers. Give them something, <laughs> you and know, then like, you ask them to give you something in return. And I, that's I refuse how they to be an, a clone my, of somebody uh, sorry, else. Solicit microtransactions uh, from players. So the way you do that is you ask them at the end because then the person has just received value from. Oh right. man, this guy gave me a good video. I'm going to subscribe. But if you do it at the beginning, you haven't necessarily it's the best porn stash on the it. internet yeah yeah this is except yeah, this when is i the grow dark bobby arts except like listen when i had the sam elliott porn stash going i have to say i i believe that mine had had much more bushiness to it which was very much like sam elliott talking like sam site mmorpg i miss it i'm gonna grow it back discovery of a new mechanic I'm made me getting fully geared in diablo immortal you gotta you gotta five love that separation of the stash in the middle yes, on over a half a million dollars and again don't I'm gonna show teams. you what it is okay when it comes to diablo immortal the game has been making millions 24 million while criticisms over the that's not that much money keep in mind diablo immortal it's not that much money that diablo immortal was made what happens with these games is that they make a lot of money. So, like, for example, if you spend $900,000 and you make a million dollars, is that better than if you spend $100,000 and you only make $500,000? Well, only making $500,000 is a lot fucking better, you know? I like the maths here. I like the maths by Asmin. Like, I, I love how we paused his face right there. And just, we should we should do, like, hashtag maths and just... You know, maths. There we go. Maths. Like he's, do he's doing maths. <laughs> no? So only 48 <laughs> people. Yeah, clearly. And uh, the the overhead on these games is much lower than, uh, you know, a full-size PC up, game like Diablo 4. 
put in the new uh, emoticon for you on Discord, continue. by the Previously, way. Previously, some estimated Just that in you, order to fully max out a character, you would have to spend I don't think it was. I don't think it was Kill Devil. I Yet think his math might have been off. After discovery of a mechanic, a new estimate <laughs> is pushing it up to 540000 Big money. An analysis shared big over money. Reddit, which I'll show you the Reddit post. Big, big money. Points to the discovery of a hidden mechanic that opens up. I mean, maxing out a character was already recorded at something like 100 at 150 or 175000 I think was the reported number that I had read. I don't know. I could be I could be wrong on that. But now we are we, we literally are going up to five hundred and forty thousand dollars to max a character out on Diablo. Like what the what the actual fuck? I, I don't even understand like the thought process here. I mean the greed is so intense. I wanna see it. I wanna see this math. More opportunity to buy additional gems and continue <laughs> spending in order to push your character fully geared glory. What? So now if you had all five star gems, listen to this. You're only half way there okay. what the but apparently actual... there's a hidden whale mechanic when you upgrade five of five star gems to level 10 that is attached to a piece of gear above rank six that five of five star gem would undergo a process called awakening awakening when a five of five star gem awakening you're going to sleep at that point son you're going to sleep there's no awake there's no awake there wow to call it awakening too to to, to be that crazy woke like you're awakening, like you've spent this much money. Now you are awakened. No, you're not. You're asleep. You're dreaming. You're in a nightmare. You're in a nightmare. Get out. Get out. This reminds me of Peace, Love, and Robots. I don't know if people are familiar with that on Netflix, but there's this one particular short story they do on there where this guy's literally like crashed into an alien hive and he's asleep. Uh, he's being used by an alien. He's basically like being like, you know, the energy getting sucked off of him. <laughs> like you, you're that dude. It's a very obscure reference, by the way. I understand. <laughs> M awakens. It gains an additional five slots around it, which allows an additional five legendary gems to be slotted into it, which the gems have individually <laughs> upgraded to rank ridiculous, 10. man. Oh my gosh. What that means that is instead of comparatively cheap, Oh wow. It's it's it just keeps getting deeper. It's a, exponential gems. It's like yeah, we have to go deeper. Dante's we have Inferno, to keep going. Man. 100k, you needed six leveled five gems to max your character. <laughs> you need thirty-six what? of them. 36. Along the way, there's what also the a cash shop item you'd have to buy. To uh -huh. awaken a gem, you'll need to purchase an item that's only available in the cash shop for purple all orbs called da Dawning Echoes, which costs you <laughs> 100 Echoes. eternal orbs, roughly around $30 per gear awakening. Wow. The explanation continues. The 540,000 estimate is based on being somewhat lucky and getting the gems you need Wait quickly. Wait a second. But that doesn't happen. This could creep up quickly. So this 500 and wait, 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 wait. So what he's saying is, is that you could spend $540,000 and you still might not have like the maxed out character because of the random, because of the RNG, because of the RNG sauce of how these awaken. Wait a second. So you could actually have to spend more than 540,000. Am I hearing this correctly? Am I hearing this correctly? Is that what he just said? 40 estimate is if you get lucky with your pools. What? And here it is right now. This is the actually Reddit post. Wait, so the 540k is just like if you get kind of lucky? <laughs> You're on the website. On the wow. Breakdown. Here is the image. This, this is, is what it looks like when you awaken a five-star gem. Say your five-star gem you got now five more slots to so you have to have what you have to have five five star gems inside of your five five star gems <laughs> what is this little caesars five 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 what the fuck additional five gems into oh my god yeah freaking 
crazy. Think wow. of like Quinn, right? Would he spend twenty five grand to find one? Unbelievable. Well, it, it, that was keep in mind is that he spent New Zealand money. So like in real money, that was like only about thirteen thousand dollars. <laughs> I lo I love it in real money. <laughs> One. You need 36 of them. Sorry, people from New Zealand. Your money is not real. <laughs> it's, you know, it's like crypto. <laughs> there's no value in that as well, right? Everybody says there's no value in that. There's no value in the New Zealand <laughs> currency. What is the New Zealand currency anyway? It's 15. It's yeah, the kumquat. 15, and on top of that. Just like it's an yeah, every little, let me sharpen the blade and just stick Where's you Orson? with Isn't it. Where's Orson? Isn't Orson In order to bit. awaken the gem, you still have to spend Where's real Oz? money Oz, to get the currency in order Keep to do it in the cash shop. Unbelievable. Even if you got lucky. Unbelievable. Like, really unbelievable. Oh, man. It's Seriously craziness. crazy. Now, let me show you what that looks like. Is right it the here. New Zealand here dollar worth? Is the dawning Is that what they call it? NCD? Awakening material. I'm not a currency trader, so that's interesting for me. See the purchase that can only be bought with real money. This to be fair, if you are at the point where you have to awaken gems, you're asleep. I mean, you're going to be spending real money. Like, let's be honest. This is like, yeah, you've, you, you're already, yeah, this cost is negligible. You've got to keep in mind, uh, a thousand of these legendary things. I think that, uh, how much do you get for a hundred bucks? Is it, uh, six thousand, uh, plus twelve hundred? Is that it? It, it it's six thousand. Yeah, it's seventy two. I, I thought so. So, like, yeah, this is only like thirteen dollars or something like that. It's really not that much. Yeah, buying Game one is only thirteen dollars. Terrible. Hard stop. It's terrible. Yeah. I want to know your opinion. Are you okay with this? Do you think, Aaron, this is the future of gaming? There's nothing wrong with it? Or are you as sickened as I am? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you haven't had a chance, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 41 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP Holy and get in my shit. VIP lounge on my Discord. Direct access Over to me if you have any mil. questions or you want to chat. We also have a weekly blog post. We have a weekly podcast. Oh my fucking Lots of God. I don't think that guy was that bad. I, I, you know, that guy wasn't that bad. He seems like he's a little bit new to the scene, but, uh, you know, I don't think he was that bad. Plan. This is mobile also, gaming, guys. on the tier, we could stream yeah. together. We can make content together. There's lots of options. So check it out. First link in the description. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're approaching 1,500 members. Great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together. So you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the Yeah, I, I think there's a lot to be said on that, you know, Red Bear. But, like, it's huge. It's huge. My son plays mobile games like like Matt. He does a COD mobile. And he's doing one that's the League of Legends version of the mobile League of Legends. So he's he's literally playing that all the time. So it is, a it, it, you know, I, I actually agree with Red Bear, you know. But but in terms of, like, you know, the generational shift, like, you know, mobile gaming to, to most is gaming. Uh, I think that's the most predatory form of gaming. <clears throat> the tactics that are, uh, are involved with mobile gaming is like the most, I think, predatory area of the gaming realm. Uh, a lot of people would say, oh, you better watch out for crypto. You better watch out for, for play to earn. You better watch out for these types of uh, gaming genres. And I, on, I honestly think, you know, a worse version of that's already here. And it's called mobile gaming because you got to be very careful, man. That's so predatory. It's like swimming with a bunch of piranha. <laughs> Description. I think the next game we're really planning on playing is Company of Heroes 2 and then Last Epoch multiplayer. And then probably. I've heard good things about that game. Yeah, I don't know. D4. It's mobile gaming, boys. Let's so we go. Can rip it apart. That's the video. Hopefully, you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. Man. It wasn't bad. It wasn't I bad. am not surprised. Bit... I'm going to be honest. This guy's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It, it's good. I, yeah. I feel like what I like the most about this video is the fact that it was short. <laughs> it's a short. Yeah, it was short. It could have been shorter, though. Like the, 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 the self promotional shit, shit could have been at the end. Uh, but like overall, I think that guy did a good job. I love Asmin. I mean, like really, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to Asmin, go to, I don't even need to tell you, you know, like everybody knows who Asmin is for God's sake. So, 
Um, I think I'm going to do more of that. Who put this in our Discord? Was that you, Red Bear? I think Red Bear put this one in in the in the Discord. I like this one, Red Bear. Uh, let's put a little bit more Asmin in there. And uh, yeah, I thought you did, buddy. So let I I love I. I could watch Asmin all day. Asmin's like very rational dude. He's he's got a lot of really good commentary, a lot of great opinions, and uh, it's not too different from this show, other than I'm, I'm more entertaining. No offense, Asmin. Although my eyebrows, I got to get my eyebrow game in check, uh, so I got to work on that. I got to work on that. 